I want to welcome you back to Box and Jabs tonight. We're going to talk about Ryan Garcia's spectacular performance and knocking out Javier Fortina in the sixth round. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. Ryan Garcia came out tonight and put on a spectacular show. He came out with that jab, that fast jab flicking it and basically hitting Javier Fortuna as quickly as possible. Fortuna was no contest for Ryan Garcia. You saw once Ryan Garcia walked in the ring, he looked like a welterweight, and Javier Fortuna looked like a featherweight. And of course, Ryan Garcia took advantage of it. I like the way he used his jab. I like the way he used his ring generalship. He was extremely patient tonight. And when he got the shot that he wanted, that big left hook to the body, that's a, that's one of his biggest punches. Ryan Garcia can really do a job on you when it comes to the body. And he did it in the fourth round. He kept putting the pressure on. Then he hit him again, knocked him down again with that big left hook. That's Ryan Garcia's money punch. And you can see that Javier Fortuna didn't have anything for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia probably put on one of his best performances in his career. It seems like the Goosens are basically <coughs> rounding out his game, getting him ready for his upcoming fight. Then he finished him off, you know what, a hook. And when he spit that mouthpiece out, he said, no mas, I want to know more of King Rye. Ryan Garcia has a lot of talent. He has the talent to be a great fighter, but does he have the mentality? Does he want it? After the fight, he was calling out, you know who, Tank Davis. Now, you know Tank Davis ain't no joke. This ain't no Javier Fortuna. Now, you could say he's, he's short like Javier Fortuna, but Tank Davis is dangerous, man. Tank Davis will take that fight. That would be probably a huge, huge spectacular money fight and it's not even for the championship that's the whole thing or will he go the way of isaac cruz you got venezuela out there so we'll see what happens because devin haney has cambosis on his table and possibly lomachenko after that so it'll be a while before ryan garcia even sees a championship fight but a Tank Davis fight will put 15 to $20 million in his pocket. We know that. That, that will be a pay-per-view spectacular for those two not fighting for a belt. And it seems like we might be on our way to that. And I put that as an even fight. Because Ryan Garcia fights extremely well against small fighters. And Tank is not a big fighter. Yes, he's fought at welterweight. He's fought at 140. But we're talking about the stature and size. Where Ryan can use his size. He can use his jab. And he can use all his natural skills against a shorter, compact fighter. So I would love to see that fight. Ryan is a moneymaker. Tank is a moneymaker. When you think about under 147... Who could be the biggest money makers in boxing? You're talking Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis. He's going to bring in the Hispanic crowd. Tank Davis is going to bring in the African American community. And we're going to have us a mega fight. But it depends. You know, Al Heyman and Golden Boy, they don't work together pretty good since you know about what happened in court. So we'll see. If that fight matriculates slowly, we'll see if that fight is made because everyone wants to see the Ryan Garcia Tank Davis fight. But tonight, what Ryan Garcia did, he pushed his numbers up. What I say, what people want to see him fight a Haney, they want to see him fight a Tank Davis, they want to see him fight a Isaac Cruz, the top lightweights in the world after destroying. Javier Frutera, I can't get this man's name right, in the sixth 
Ryan. So we're going to give Ryan Garcia an A tonight because his opponent was a very good opponent, and he just flat out destroyed him. I want to thank you for listening to Boxing Jabs. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash the like button, but also share the video.